Hi, this is Simon Can with the second part of the video about FM synthesis. If you haven't seen the first part, you might want to check that out before you continue. So far, we've looked at FM sounds created by a simple two operator stack with a modulator and a carrier. As you will have heard, this combination can create a very wide range of tones, but this is just the start. With most FM synthesizers, you get more than two operators and there are a number of ways you can organize the operators. Some synthesizers give you fixed algorithms, while others allow you complete flexibility. Whichever route your synthesizer takes, it will usually offer combinations of the three following configurations, in addition to the simple stack we've already looked at. The first new configuration uses parallel carriers. With this combination, there is one modulator and two carriers. The modulator modulates both carriers and the carriers are both connected to the output. So it's like two simple stacks, but with a common modulator. If the carriers are set at the same pitch, then each carrier will create the same sound. So the only effect of the combination will be an increase in volume. However, if the carriers are set at different pitches, then there will be two different ratios and separate tones. Let's take an example of this. Say we set the first carrier at the same pitch as the modulator, so there is a one-to-one -one ratio. This will give us a familiar sound. If we now mute that carrier and bring in the other carrier, but with its pitch raised by seven semitones, that will mean that there is a three to two ratio, which gives us a sound like this. As you can hear, this gives a rather open, low metallic sort of sound, but the sort of sound that we would expect. If we then bring in the first carrier to play at the same time, we get this sound. As you can hear, the sound with both carriers is much more assertive than with either carrier on its own, and we have a combination of weight and brightness. But not only that, you can hear a single coherent sound you cannot hear each separate element. Clearly, this is just one example. As you can imagine, there are far more possible pitch permutations that are available with parallel carriers. The next algorithm that I want to look at uses parallel modulators. With this combination, there are two modulators and one carrier which is connected to the output. Again, you can think of this as being like two simple stacks, but this time with a common carrier. If the modulators are set at the same pitch, then each modulation will create the same sound, so the only effect of the combination will be an increase in the effect of the modulation. This will lead to a sharpening of the tone and at extremes will give noise. However, if the modulators are set at different pitches, then there will be two different ratios and separate tones. Let's take an example of this. Say we set the first modulator at four semitones above the carrier. So there is a five to four ratio. This will give us a familiar sound. If we then silence that modulator and switch in the second modulator, which will be pitched at 16 semitones above the carrier, giving us a five to two ratio, we get a sort of bell-like sound, but this time it's a much brighter bell sound. Those of you who are smart at mathematics will have noticed that the second modulator is pitched one octave above the first. When we bring the first modulator back, we get a more cohesive, fuller, bell-type sound. The last option is the cascade. With this setup, the first modulator feeds the second modulator, which then feeds the carrier. As the first modulator increases its output, it modulates the shape of the second wave being output by the second modulator. The changing waveform then changes the nature of the frequency modulation in the carrier. Again, this offers huge amounts of flexibility, but it also creates a lot of complexity, and if you're not careful, it is easy to create noise. Anyway, let me try and give you an idea of what this sounds like. If we set all three operators to the same pitch and set the output of modulator 2 to a reasonable level and we keep that level fixed, then we will create a static tone. 
you'll hear that static tone at the beginning and the end of the sound. As the note sustains, the output level of modulator 1 will increase, reach the maximum and then decrease. As you'll hear, at the maximum level, the sound starts to break up. If the level went any further, there would be more distortion and noise. <laughs> So those are the four main FM configurations, and of course, you can combine those building blocks. The options are limited by the number of operators you have and your imagination. That's the end of this video. If you want to know more, then take a look at the other videos in this Synthesizer Bootcamp series. You should also check out some of my books about synthesis, which cover the issues raised in these videos in much greater detail. In particular, I suggest you look at how to make a noise and becoming a synthesizer wizard from presets to power user. Both are available from all leading bookstores, including the online stores. You can find out more about Synthesizer Bootcamp and my books by visiting my website, noisesculpture.com. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon.